Hey y'all, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a fall grocery haul collab with all of these goodies back behind me. This is a collaboration with my good friend Tiffany over at Small Town Six. I adore this girl. She has become such a good friend of mine on YouTube. She is so sweet and she is just amazing. Her channel is amazing. So make sure that you go check her out. I will link her channel in the description below. Let her know that I sent you. Over on her channel, you're gonna find a lot of grocery hauls. You'll find a lot of like cooking videos. And by the way, she's a beast in the kitchen. So you definitely wanna subscribe and make sure you do not miss a single one of her cooking videos. They are amazing. She also throws in cleaning every now and then and things like that. So definitely check her out. Let her know I sent you. If you're coming over from Tiffany's channel, hi, welcome. My name's Lindsay. I live with my boyfriend, Jared, and our adorable dog, Irie, who is a mix between a shepherd of some sort. It's either German shepherd or Belgian Malinois and coyote. So ask me to tell you about that story someday because it's wild. Over on my channel, you're gonna find anything about making your house a home. So we've got cooking, we've got cleaning, organizing, decorate with me's, bake with me's, get it all done, day in the life kind of thing, other lifestyle sort of videos. I try to have a lot of fun and I wanna make sure that you are able to help make your house a home. So. If that sounds like videos that you like to watch, please consider subscribing and joining our YouTube family. We'd love to have you. Now, let's go see what we got at the grocery store. So, let's get started. Um, we went to Target. There's also two things in here from Trader Joe's, which I'll tell you why later, but we went to Target. Um, has anybody had this? It's Evil is the name of the brand. It's love spelled backwards. I absolutely adore it. The butternut squash and sage ravioli is so good. It's so fall. It's brilliant. If you love this brand, tell me below in the comments. It's one of my favorites. I also got this flatbread pizza, spinach, feta, olive, and arugula. This just like, I don't know if it's actually fall flavored or anything like that, or if these are in season, but like it felt like fall to me. And that's all that matters. Jared though does not like olives or anything like that so he wanted just a regular uh five cheese pizza uh and we'll have a pizza night sometime this week we also got turkey pot pies um how is that not fall right so we got two of those one for each of us and the other frozen thing we got um was this voila uh, chicken bacon ranch mac and cheese skillet that will uh, not be healthy at all but voila dishes are super good and they're very easy to make and there's clearly going to be a whole lot of leftovers so um, what next we've got let's do refrigerated stuff all right so refrigerated stuff we got some milk it's not fall flavored duh but like you know everyone needs milk we also got some Gala Blend Apple Cider, which definitely is fall themed because, you know, apple, super cute. Um, what else needs to go in the fridge? Um, some Better Green Leaf because uh, I am trying to be healthy, so, you know, salad. Also got some baby spinach so that I can make some salads that way. I got a cucumber. I already had tomatoes. Uh, what else? We also got some pre-made salads. Jared wanted the chef salad, and I got this um, cilantro avocado salad, both of which look delicious. For breakfast, I got some, they're basically like Starbucks, Starbucks? Who likes Starbucks? <laughs> Starbucks sous vide egg bite uh, dupes. So this one is Let's see, egg whites, um, bacon, and cheddar cheese. I also got these just crack an egg scramble kits. Literally, you just crack an egg and you microwave them and it's great. So the Denver has applewood smoked ham, mild cheddar cheese, potatoes, green peppers, and onions. Then I also got the protein blend, which is cheddar cheese, pork, sausage, and bacon. Then, super fall, honey pumpkin goat cheese ravioli. Look at these stripes. They're Gives me a very like carnival vibe, but I love that. I love ravioli anyways. I like pumpkin, I like goat cheese. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love these. Uh, and then I got, let's move all of this stuff over. This is super unorganized by the way. Like Tiffany's video is gonna be way better. <laughs> just, just saying. I got some um, eggs because clearly we like eggs in this house. And then this is a meal kit. It's a slow cooker meal kit from Tyson. It's chicken with vegetables, but like, look at that picture. Doesn't that look great? 
So that's gonna be dinner one night this week. And that is it for the refrigerated items. So I'm gonna put those up really quick and I'll be right back with you for the uh, pantry items. All right, now we are back to the pantry items. So let's start over here. I bought three single uh, Viva paper towel brands. They've got this signature cloth, which is, I love it. I can't describe it other than it, it um, kind of like sticks to each other, like almost like microfiber cloth would. And so it doesn't just like flap around here. I'll just show you. This is the signature cloth. So I can't describe how it feels really, but when it touches each other, like that sounds weird, but you know what I mean? Whenever it touches each other, it sort of stays together so you don't have the flappy thing. <laughs> I'm doing a horrible job of explaining this. Whatever, you're getting me. I usually buy like six packs, but they didn't have them, so I just got three, um, and then I will go back and get more when I need them. We also then got some bananas for breakfast. I got Irie some Halloween, uh, let's see, it's pumpkin and cinnamon treats, but look, they've got like bats and ghosts and pumpkins and he needs some dog treats. So he actually doesn't need any, let's be real. He has a lot, but he needed Halloween goodies because we're getting Halloween goodies. So speaking of Halloween goodies, let's just go right into the middle. I have, let me throw this all over the place. I have this little, I have this little thing over here, this mason jar, trick or treat. I love to put candy in it that looks Halloween for just like a little kitchen treat. So that's what we got here. We got caramel apple, um, I don't know what the Brock's, I guess. Uh, Jared loves these, so we got those. We also got Vampire Kisses, which they're just the chocolate, but they've got um, like strawberry cream inside. I'm unsure about this, if I'm honest. Like, I think the che like cherry would be really good, but we'll see. We got those. This is what we got last year. It's basically just the normal Hershey Kisses, but they've got fun little like Monster Ink. <laughs> it reminds me of Monster Ink, but it just looks cute in the mason jar. So then we also got these Kit Kat Halloween Lovers. So you've got just the regular one, but then you've got Witch's Brew, which is this like, I don't know, like neon green kind of thing. And then you've got um, orange cream colored. So thought that would be fun. Don't know if they'll taste good or not, but Thought that would be cute in the mason jar. Okay, so I'm rearranging. Um, we will talk about that side in a minute, but let's start here. So pumpkin spice almonds, they're um, like a white chocolate coating seasoned with pumpkin pie spice, and I love almonds, so I think that's gonna be delicious. I also got caramel apple bourbon trail mix. Um, really, the bourbon, I, I couldn't. The moment I read bourbon, I was like, um, yeah, I don't even care what this tastes like. Have you met me? This is, everything in my house probably tastes like bourbon. Um, and candy apple pretzels, which I've never had before. It just looked fun. We also then got some Harvest Snaps Red Lentil Snack Crisp. They're tomato basil flavored. I'm just laughing at myself because I realized I went from like all this like, bourbon sweet candy stuff to like, well, let's try to be healthy and have some red lentil snack crisps. <laughs> Balance. Then we got some vegetable chips that are herb stuffing, sage and rosemary, because that just sounds like fall, does it not? Um, I'll talk about those two in a second. I also needed to get some washing machine cleaner. Did anybody know that this has to be different from just regular like laundry detergent? That seems weird to me, um, but it is, whatever. Um, then, not from Target, from Trader Joe's, which I've been holding on to since my Trader Joe haul, we got Oreos that basically look like jack-o'-lanterns. How cute is that? They're called Halloween Jojo's. They're not Oreos, but they look like them. And then ghosts and bats, like basically potato chips. I don't know if you can see in there. I kind of can, they kind of look like ghosts. Anyway, they're supposed to look like that, <laughs> but they're potato chips, and I thought that was super cute for Halloween. Let me put all this stuff up, and then I will tell you the story about the rest of the thing. Okay, for the last bit, I wanted to like be face-to-face -face with the camera so I could tell you the story. Um, so we got two gallons of distilled water, and we got five soups. Um, this seems 
odd for a family of two to be getting five cans of soup. But I don't know if you remember in Texas last year, there was a big winter storm. Maybe you didn't hear about it. I don't know how widely it was spread. But anyway, Texas had a big winter storm and we lost power for a lot. Like, so at this household, we lost power for four days. Um, some people lost it for a lot longer. Thankfully, we still had running water, but some people even lost that because the pipes had frozen. But for four days, three or four days, we did not have any power. One of those days, and it was a Tuesday, the temperature got down to seven degrees. This is single digits. This is Texas, ladies and gentlemen. Just remember that. We were not prepared. So it's supposed to get really, really cold this year too. Don't know if the power is gonna go out or not, but we figured these were on sale, buy four, get one can free. We just kind of are planning ahead. So it's October now, between now and winter, we're just gonna buy a gallon or two of water every time we go. It's like 80 cents or something like that. And then if we see uh, sales, we'll get canned goods sales. If not, um, we'll just buy a can or two extra and we'll just kind of start stocking up so that if that happens again, we are much better prepared than what we were last year. So this is why you might be wondering why we're buying water and a lot of canned goods for two people. This is why. All right, everyone, that is it for the fall themed grocery haul. I wish they had a little more full items, but I got what I could. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Definitely go check out Tiffany's channel. Make sure you subscribe to her. Again, her channel's linked down below. And if you are new here, then please subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.